welcome. My name is Rachel and I love to go in an experiment. And if you are new here, welcome to the family. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transform my deck. But before we get right into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to share this video with your friends and family members. Also, very importantly, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you are aware that I just uploaded a video. Alright, into workspaces. Guys, I absolutely love how workspaces look like. I have a Pinterest board. I've pinned like a lot of workspaces that have inspired me over the years and I've been doing this for a long time. Now getting to build my workspace, I got a space in my house that is going to serve as both my workspace because I work remotely from home as a product designer and also I wanted something that will serve as my YouTube studio. And it wasn't I'm going to be revamping in my space with my desk. So I got this deck sometime last year and have like a little finished and I thought it was the perfect time for me to revamp it. So the first thing I did was to order contact paper from AliExpress. I'm going to leave a link in the description box where I ordered it from so that if you'd like to order, you could order from that same place. So the contact paper I wanted was like a wood finish because the table has like a leather finish but I wanted to give the table more of like a wood finish. This is how the contact paper came in. It took about two to three weeks for me to get it. I just picked it up from the post office and this is me unboxing it. This came with some stickers and the contact paper. So the next thing I did was to start spreading it on the table. At first I was very skeptical about it because immediately I spread out the contact paper I realized that it had a lot of creases. I was not sure how this was going to work out. So I still laying it on the table and I didn't even need a card at the end of the day. My hand just worked fine. Also, another thing to note is that my table was a bit wider than the contact paper I got. So I had to do some patching. So first off, I laid it to move the, limb, the alignment to the front so that it covers up the front very well. Then I was going to patch the back where my gadget was going to be on top. So it was not something I was really worried about. But really, I felt, but really, I wish I had gotten more. So if you're going to be doing this, I hope you get like enough contact paper. I got about... I'm going to leave how much um, rule I got in the description box. I still laying it out. Another thing I noticed, which is like a con, is that is that the contour was really thin. I expected it to be thicker, but it was thin. But it did the job and. If you're going to be using this contact paper, I suggest to use it on a very smooth surface because something else I noticed, since my table was like a bit rough, I still had like those bulges on the contact paper, but it did the work fine. Back to the patching points, I just measured cut out and started patching out the top.
comment section what does your current workspace look like if you have one let me know in the comment section if you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe also leave comments in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys peace